All right, I have an amazing work I'm gonna take you through today that is downright effective at building a powerful and proportionate upper body. Now, before we get into the full workout, really cool news. We just launched our Back to Gym sales. You can get 50% off my Movie Star program and my Greek God program. If you wanna take advantage of that and get a huge discount, we never do the 50% off, then hit the link in the bio. Now, let's get into some really awesome training. So I'm kicking things off with the weighted dip. The real power of the weighted dip is how much strength you can gain on this exercise. So a lot of people struggle to add five pounds to their bench, it takes time, the bench can be stubborn, but very few people hit plateaus on weighted dips. And one of the reasons is because the weighted dip, our hands are fixed to the bar and our body's moving through space. And human beings, we're better at getting full muscle activation in a closed chain position where our hands are fixed and our body's moving through space. And actually in the last few weeks, I've actually been adding five pounds per week to my dips. So I'm going for my heavy set, which is 185 pounds for six reps. So that's my first set, 180 for six. The goal is you're adding weight each week or you're adding a rep each week. We're always getting stronger. And that's the power of my programs is week by week, people are improving. And with that strength gain, we're adding nice muscle to our chest, our shoulders, our triceps, et cetera. Now for my second set, I'm doing reverse pyramid style. So I'm going down to 150. So I'm dropping it by 35 pounds per set. And with dips, you calculate 10% based on the whole weight. So your whole body plus the added weight. And so I went for 150 for eight. And then finally I finished off with 115 for about eight reps, going a little bit deeper, getting a nice, nice contraction. And now after doing the weighted dips, I'm going into, actually, you know what? I'll show, I'll show this for you as well. I wanted to get a little video for my ad guy. And so I ended up doing a little one arm clapping push up. Don't try it unless you're really advanced because you don't want to fall on your face or catch your arm too early and, and, and hurt your elbow. So you gotta be really careful. But now we're gonna go into some really cool side to side push ups. I'm gonna be doing this weight over 50 pounds. The idea is we're going to the left arm and then the right arm. And that is a killer workout because as we go to the left, we're using a lot more weight on this side. So it makes the push up harder. And we're doing it with 50 pounds. So I'm just doing three sets here of about, you know, um, six to eight reps per arm get a little bit more chest work. And so I've actually been kind of doing a bit of a hybrid routine, mixing some body weight training and some, and some weights and some weighted body weight movements. And it's been really, really effective. Next, I'm going into some uh, sternum pull-ups, really focusing on pulling my chest to the bar. I'm actually really happy with my back width. I built uh, really wide lats from doing a lot of weighted pull-ups. So I actually don't do too many weighted pull-ups anymore. Instead, I really focus on the sternum variation, really pulling the chest to the bar, which builds back thickness. So that's your rhomboids, that's your lower traps, gives your back a little thicker look. So next, I'm going into some bicep training. And again, I have to be careful with my elbow, so I found that the pinwheel curl doesn't aggravate my elbow. And the pinwheel curl is an amazing bicep movement to really get the brachialis to pop, to really build the outer biceps. And this brachialis can actually help lift your bicep up higher so you get more of a nice peak. Um, shout out to Jeff Nippert, he talks a little bit about that. As well, it gives your arm more definition on the outer part of your arm. So when people look at you, they see you from this position, so it fills in that bicep layer there very nicely. So I just did a few sets on the pinwheel curls, and finally, I'm going into a really fun exercise that I coined. I don't know if anyone else has been doing this, but this is something that I, I started doing organically because I wanted to hit my traps, only had 50 pound dumbbells, and it's the farmer's shrug. But this time I procured some 65s, which is a lot harder. And the idea is you're gonna do a farmer's walk, but you're gonna do a shrug with pretty much every, every couple steps, you're gonna do a little shrug, and it is a brutal, brutal workout. And you wanna go for about 20 to 30 reps for your first set, drop the weight, take 10 to 15 seconds, and then do 10 reps. 
drop the weight, 10 to 15 seconds rest, and then do 10 reps. And you can do 20 to 30 plus two or three sets of 10. Today I just did two extra sets of 10 and my traps were on fire. So that was a badass workout. We hit some weighted dips. And again, each week we're adding five pounds. So next week we're gonna go to 190. I'm gonna build up to 200 pound dips for six. Um, we wanted some weighted side to side push ups. If you're less advanced, you can just do regular side to side push ups without the weight. Wanted some nice chest to bar sternum pull ups. And you're not gonna see a mat. It could look a little bit like a pull up. But the difference is we're leaning back a little bit and we're really activating the mid back. We wanted some bicep training and some shrugs. Totally sweet workout give that workout a shot. And you know what, I actually finished off, and I'm gonna be doing this for the next few weeks with some wrist curls. And the research shows that one, a great exercise to do to help with any sort of elbow pain that you develop from heavy training, a lot of overuse of typing and texting is actually really focus on the negative of a wrist curl. Really doing a slow negative, letting it hang, and it actually helps with the injury. Um, so really powerful stuff. There's some really cool research on that. So give that a try if you have any elbow pain. You know, start adding, after your workouts Monday, Friday, add a little two, three sets of wrist curls and reverse wrist curls, and really let that negative, accentuate that negative and you'll find that in a few weeks, the area, you actually start to see some improvement. So that was a really cool workout. Um, I'll be doing that workout on, my mo on Monday and then on Friday, I have a different upper body workout I'm doing, focusing more on the shoulders. Um, but, you know, we're on you right now and if you have not signed up to one of my programs, we are seeing some of the most amazing transformations across the board. Uh, my latest program we launched in March and now we're getting some of the craziest six month transformations on this program. So before you had to pay full price, right now you can join for 50% off. So it's a really awesome deal. We're not keeping this going for too, too long. So you're gonna wanna hit the link in the bio and sign up if you have not already. The proof is in the pudding. Once you join, you're part of the Facebook group, you're gonna, be, you're gonna see tons of people crushing it, getting leaner than they ever thought possible and building up some really advanced elite movements. So I'm so pumped about this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.